Impossible, experts had scoffed, yet the secret was already in the sky. In a hushed moment at the Air Force Association Conference in Washington on September 14, 2020, the Air Force's top acquisition official stunned the room. We've already built and flown a full-scale flight demonstrator in the real world, and we broke records in doing it, Will Roper declared. For decades, analysts insisted it would take many years to even start building the next-generation fighter. This announcement proved them wrong. It was the first time in modern history the Air Force had built something so advanced so quickly. Roper later described the results as truly magical, words that spread across Washington think tanks like wildfire. Analysts turned from doubt to fascination, wondering not if, but when this new technology would transform the force. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button. It helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. By late 2024, stealth aircraft of unknown design were already being tested by rival nations, signaling that the contest for air superiority was intensifying. At the same time, Air Combat Command leadership emphasized that air dominance remains essential to every joint operation. Without secure skies, armies cannot maneuver, fleets cannot sail, and deterrence collapses. Leaders categorically rejected claims that fighter jets were obsolete, warning instead that tomorrow's campaigns will hinge on control of the air. Engineers in American labs and factories had anticipated this challenge for years, but when Roper revealed a demonstrator was already flying, the urgency became undeniable. The race was no longer theoretical, it was on, and America could not afford to pause. Urgency echoed across the Pentagon. In January 2025, Acquisition Chief Andrew Hunter underscored the stakes, warning that adversary weapons programs were advancing with breathtaking speed. He cautioned that others might reach operational capability first, even if the United States ultimately produced a superior jet. Those remarks set the tone just weeks before the contract award, reinforcing that the Air Force had to be ready on day one of any future conflict. By March of that year, an internal study concluded decisively that a crewed sixth-generation fighter remained indispensable for breaking through tomorrow's integrated air defenses. This assessment framed the path forward. A next-generation aircraft was not optional, but essential to survival and dominance in the modern battle space. The Air Force had already begun its transformation through what leaders called a digital design revolution. The T-7A Red Hawk trainer, developed by Boeing, became the first Air Force jet designed and built entirely with digital engineering. For NGAD, those same tools were unleashed on the most complex problems. Will Roper later noted that his team had checked every box with digital technology, rapidly creating a prototype that could be built, flown, and tested in record time. Just one year after completing its analysis of alternatives, the Air Force had a full-scale prototype in the sky, complete with mission systems on board. Previous fighter programs often took a decade to reach such a milestone. This new pace marked a historic break with tradition and demonstrated that timelines could be slashed. Before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. Speed alone was not the revolution. Digital design promised to rewrite the economics of air power. Leaders envisioned a digital century series in which a new fighter would be built every eight years and retired after 16, rather than a single model serving for generations. Analysts projected this model could reduce sustainment costs by roughly 10% while keeping technology fresh. Instead of locking into one design for 30 years, the Air Force might buy five different jets in the same time span. This approach demanded new budget planning, but it also freed the service from endless upgrades of aging fleets. For supporters, it was nothing less than reimagining the very business model of building fighters. For skeptics, it was daring. For both, it was inevitable. Behind the scenes, DARPA had prepared the ground. Under its air dominance initiative, Stealth X-Plane prototypes were flown to reduce risk and test radical technologies. Boeing and Lockheed each produced demonstrators that logged hundreds of hours, exploring new engines, sensors, and aerodynamics. These quiet flights became laboratories in the sky, refining concepts that would feed directly into the F-47. For five years, these aircraft gathered priceless data on stealth shaping, composite materials, and sensor fusion. Though the exact designs remained classified, they represented decades of technological investment. 
By the time NGAD matured into a program of record, it did so on the shoulders of these secret pioneers, ensuring the next leap forward was grounded in real-world proof, not theory. NGAD is conceived not as a single aircraft, but as an integrated family of systems. At its center is the F-47, a crewed fighter designed to command a constellation of drones, satellites, and sensors. From inception, it is built with open systems architecture, meaning radars, communications links, or even entirely new weapons can be plugged in like apps. This ensures its avionics can evolve continuously. The drones, known as collaborative combat aircraft, will serve as sensing platforms, strike partners, and decoys, extending the reach and survivability of the manned jet. Data from every node will converge in real time inside the F-47's cockpit. The result is not a fighter acting alone, but a network of assets striking as one, capable of overwhelming defenses through coordination rather than brute force. Leadership guided the program through pivotal moments. In July 2024, Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall ordered a deliberate pause to validate the design, stressing this was not cancellation, but prudence. He affirmed his confidence that a crewed sixth-generation aircraft would be fielded and even raised the possibility of an optionally uncrewed configuration. Meanwhile, the Air Force continued investing in enabling technologies. Nearly a billion dollars was allocated to develop adaptive turbofan engines that will provide unprecedented range and power. Congress consistently endorsed these budgets, signaling bipartisan recognition of NGAD's importance. For the defense industry, the message was unmistakable. This program is real, prioritized, and enduring. Momentum was preserved even amid scrutiny. Signs of progress were increasingly visible. At the 2025 Air and Space Forces Symposium, General David Alvin announced the designation of two drone prototypes as YFQ-42A and YFQ-44A, officially granting them fighter status. It may be symbolic, but it tells the world we are leaning into a new chapter of aerial warfare, he said. This marked the first time unmanned aircraft were placed in the same category as crewed fighters. Both prototypes had passed critical design reviews and were slated to fly within months. What had been speculative only years before was rapidly becoming operational reality. The symbolism was powerful, but the practical message was stronger. The age of manned-unmanned teaming was no longer a vision, it was entering service. Then came the watershed announcement. On March 21, 2025, the Air Force awarded the contract to Boeing to build the crewed NGAD fighter, officially designating it the F-47. Valued at over $20 billion, it became one of the largest contracts in Air Force history. The president praised the jet as unmatched, declaring that nothing in the world comes close. Secretary Kendall highlighted its greater range, lower cost, and deeper stealth than any predecessor. The F-47 was named the cornerstone of the NGAD family, built to integrate stealth shaping, advanced sensors, and long-range strike. Though details remain classified, the mission is clear. This fighter is designed to project American power globally, ensuring deterrence against any future threat. Strategic implications are immense. With the F-47 and its robotic wingman in the fight, Commanders could hold even heavily defended targets at risk from the opening moments of conflict. Enemy bombers, ships, or missile batteries would suddenly face stealthy aircraft armed with hypersonic missiles. Advanced sensors and jammers could blind hostile radars, clearing corridors for strikes. Imagine a carrier strike group shielded by unseen fighters, or a bomber formation escorted by drones that swarm ahead. The calculus of deterrence shifts. Aggression would invite immediate response from assets an adversary cannot see or stop. In practical terms, this capability buys decision-makers time, space, and leverage. In strategic terms, it secures air dominance for decades to come. NGAD also provides protection for other platforms. Leaders have emphasized its role alongside the new B-21 Raider stealth bomber. Without escort, Sending a bomber into contested skies would risk catastrophic losses. With F-47s and their drone partners sweeping ahead, bombers can strike with far greater confidence. Bases across the Pacific, from Japan to Guam, would be buffered by these patrols, while NATO airspace over Europe would gain a new shield. 
The vision is global. Wherever American or allied forces operate, NGAD extends the umbrella of survivability. Adversaries know this, which makes the very existence of the F-47 a tool of deterrence in its own right. Stability is preserved not by words, but by the credible presence of unmatched capability. Exercises and demonstrations hint at the path forward. In one test, Secretary Kendall flew in an F-16 paired with an artificial intelligence co-pilot, underscoring how autonomy is advancing rapidly. By the time the F-47 is operational, AI-assisted decision-making and drone teaming will be mature. Industry is moving at warp speed, with new production facilities breaking ground and multiple contractors contributing advanced components. The timeline is ambitious, a first flight by 2027 and initial capability by the early to mid-2030s. That is shockingly fast by historical standards. As older stealth fighters approach the end of their service, the F-47 will assume the mantle of air dominance, carrying the mission forward into a new era of conflict. The performance expectations are extraordinary. Engineers project the F-47 will match or exceed the F-22's altitude of 70,000 feet and speed of nearly Mach 3. Its long wings and cavernous fuel bays will allow trans-oceanic range, with variants tailored for theaters like the Pacific or Europe. Some concepts resemble miniature stealth bombers, prioritizing reach over agility. Stealth itself will be elevated to new levels. The aircraft is expected to be orders of magnitude harder to detect than current fighters, with radar cross-sections so small they rival a metal pellet. Broad-spectrum shaping, advanced materials, and powerful jammers will render it virtually invisible. In combat, adversaries may only realize the F-47 was present after the strike has already landed. Beneath the surface, its propulsion system represents another leap. Adaptive turbofan engines will deliver roughly 30% more range and nearly 20% greater acceleration compared to legacy designs. Each engine will generate around 45,000 pounds of thrust, while also providing immense electrical power for energy-hungry sensors and potential directed energy weapons. By running cooler, these engines will reduce infrared signatures, further enhancing stealth. The synergy of power, efficiency, and low observability will give pilots unmatched flexibility. They can fly farther, react faster, and remain unseen longer. These engines are scheduled to mature by the late 2020s, aligning perfectly with the F-47's development path. The airframe itself breaks with tradition. Early images suggest a tailless design, removing vertical fins to minimize radar reflections. Production will not follow the old model of thousands of units. Instead, the Air Force envisions building a few dozen per variant, then refreshing the design every five to eight years. This embodies the Digital Century Series model of constant renewal. Maintenance will also be transformed. Open architecture allows technicians to swap hardware and update software as seamlessly as upgrading an app. What once took years of modification can be accomplished in weeks. The fighter becomes not a frozen artifact, but a living system that adapts across its lifespan. It is designed to evolve as threats evolve, never standing still. The future of NGAD is not only about machines, but about the people who design, build, and fly them. Behind every stealth contour and adaptive engine stands a community of airmen, engineers, and maintainers dedicating untold hours to perfecting the craft. Commanders stress that this program is not an abstract exercise in technology, but a promise to those who will fly into danger. Every new sensor fused, every drone integrated, means a greater chance of survival and mission success. This human element underscores the urgency. The F-47 is built not only to dominate, but to protect, ensuring that America's sons and daughters have the best chance to return home. What this means for strategy is profound. NGAD will extend the reach of American power far beyond contested zones, compressing decision timelines for adversaries while expanding them for U.S. commanders. By wielding stealth, speed, and networked force, the Air Force ensures deterrence is credible, flexible, and immediate. An adversary facing such a system must weigh aggression against the near certainty of failure. This shifts the calculus of entire regions, turning contested skies into safeguarded domains. The result is not reckless escalation, but stability achieved through strength, where potential conflicts are dissuaded before they begin.
The story of NGAD is only beginning, and its chapters will be written in test flights, production lines, and the determination of those who believe in American air power. For those listening now, you are witnessing the emergence of a system that will define air combat for the next half century. If this vision inspires you, share your thoughts and join this community dedicated to tracking history as it unfolds. Comment with your perspective, subscribe to stay informed, and be part of a dialogue that honors innovation and service. The sky ahead is full of challenges, but with NGAD, the United States prepares to meet them with resolve, ingenuity, and unshakable confidence. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means a lot.